Happy New Year Internet, Dali Codes here again. In this video, we are going to use Selenium to scrape FIFA site, this site here, to get data about FIFA World Cup matches, these matches um, that happened towards the end of last year. And by the end of this video, you should be able to use Selenium to interact with the buttons on the site, like these buttons here. Um, scroll web pages and scrape data so um buckle up and subscribe if you are not and let's get started so selenium is an open source tool which was primarily created by i don't know if i can pronounce his name well jason huggins in 2004 to help him automate tests that are carried out on web browsers and uh, until today selenium is used to automate testing frameworks used to validate website applications across several browsers firefox um, uh, chrome like the google chrome that i'm using here and other platforms which i have not mentioned um, you can use several programming languages with selenium and in our case here we're going to use python because our channel is majorly python and sql and maybe some other data analysis tools um, so we're going to use python uh, so i suggest that um, as i'm coding you code with me if you're learning um so that you can build on your muscle memory <coughs> yeah um apart from all that yapping i think we should get started so what we want to do is to get the data from from here so um you should make sure that uh, you have python installed uh, in your computer i'm going to use pyenv as usual for all projects on this channel i'm using pyenv to manage my python versions but um, in your computer you should make sure that you have uh, you have python installed and you have pip because we're going to use pip to install packages for um, for python so uh, i'm going to i created this folder here it is on my desktop somewhere and in this folder it's youtube it contains projects to do with YouTube. So I'm going to create a folder called uh, FIFA. Then I'll move inside FIFA. I'm working in terminal. Um, this is format, but you can use one prompt to create um, folders whatever you'll be working on. Um, if it is uh, on Windows or uh, if you're using Linux, I think you'll find commands for your terminal. So I'm going to use pyenv, pyenv, then local, I'm going to define Python 3.10.0. I know that there is Python 3.11, but uh, I have not yet installed it in my computer. And I think it may disturb with the M1 chip. Um, I haven't it tried, so we shall use Python 3.10. Zero. So if I check uh, what is on my local directory, we already have that Python version. Here. Then I'm going to create a virtual environment. So Python minus M VM creating a virtual environment called VM. Yeah, though we can still look at what is inside our folder now. VM if you want to look at everything yeah we can see everything that we've just created then we are going to activate the virtual environment then we're going to install the packages that are going to be useful for this project uh, pip install selenium I don't know how is it selenium selenium depends on uh, which nursery school you come from which other package am i going to need i'm going to need web driver manager i don't remember how web driver manager is spelled so i'm going to search install web driver manager is it having a yep it has a minus between the web driver and manager
Yep, and let's install and see. So let's launch VS Code. You can use any IDE of your choice or any code editor of your choice, but um, for this project, I'm using VS Code. Uh, so, and I would prefer you use VS Code because it is. Um, sorry, it's supposed to be code. This should launch VS Code for me here. Then I'm going to create a file called uh, script.py. And then we are going to import the necessary um, packages. So I'm going to, to import from Selenium. I'm going to import WebDriver. Yep, and let me make this bigger. So I'm going to import several packages that are useful for this project. The web driver will help uh, help provide uh, uh, all driver implementations. So the driver will be the one that is going to be interacting with the with the site that we send it to. It is like it is like a bot. That will be coming here and then it will click if we tell it to click um, then it will maybe fetch data if we tell it to fetch data and so forth so that is what this web driver is going to be doing then we are going to import service so from selenium still dot web driver dot chrome because I'm using Google Chrome, but if you're using another browser that Selenium supports, then you'll be going that route. So dot service, we're going to import service. So service will be, will give us capability of running um, other executions within the web, web driver and um, for example, if you want to have the plugin, we will use service to run the plugin. And majorly, the service here will help us to, to run Chrome Driver Manager. So let's import Chrome, Chrome Driver Manager from Web Driver Manager because we installed this dot Chrome import chrome driver manager so previously and if you look at uh, videos that do web scraping with google chrome uh, they point you to a, a driver manager that you have to download and then you link it to to your web driver when you're instantiating it but here we shall use this to cover all that so we'll need we'll not need to download any other driver and then we we'll link it with with the with the web driver so that um, then we are going to have this package for settings when we want to provide extra settings to the driver so from selenium it's options yeah it's options so from selenium dot web driver dot chrome dot options we are going to import options so options will help us provide extra settings uh, for the functionality of the web drive web, for the for the functionality of the driver then we are going to import um, uh, a package that is going to help us to to define how we are going to be fetching data. So 
from selenium dot web driver dot common dot buy we are going to import buy so when when we are locating a resource from a site and there are ways of locating a resource for example if we are looking at trying to locate this resource we would go here more tools developer tools then we point into this resource here and then we have a tag so we'd say locate this resource by this tag or we could use an xpath xpath will give us a path direct to this resource so this by will help us define how we want to locate resource then when when we are you are interacting with uh, a web page for example this one you send commands to um, the browser you could send the command to the browser using a keyboard like if i type down arrow button i'm scrolling down up arrow button i'm scrolling up these commands are sent from keyboard up so we could want to use keys to interact with the web page so i'm going to import a package that is going to help us um, send keys to the driver to interact with the page from the keyboard so it's just a simulation not you doing it but it'll be a simulation so selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys we're going to import import keys then we will need to to um, make the driver stop at some moment because when it is interacting with the page let me show you for example here i'm going to open this in incognito mode uh, let me paste here so you see it will call for this but this page takes long before um, this part here for cookies is launched and we have to wait so we we'll need to use this package here to wait so import time then pandas for data wrangling and maybe handling of data so import pandas uh, speedy yeah so these are the packages that we are going to be using for um, scraping this site uh, let's remind ourselves of the the goal for this video is to get the data and the data that we're going to get is this data the scores for all the matches of fifa world cup plus if you click here on this you are going to get other statistics about a match we want to get all that data uh, this is the link to the website so i'm going to say my website is that um just that link then uh i'm going to begin by putting the the settings of the driver so i'm going to instantiate my options so options equals to options um this options has capital o this one has lowercase o just in case you feel like i'm confusing you also here this options has o lowercase o this has uppercase o this by has lowercase b 
and this one has uppercase B. This one has lowercase K, and this one has uppercase K. So the first option that I'm going to set is to make sure that um, the driver that does not automatically close the browser when when it finish, finishes execution. Anyway, let me first have my driver. Let me define the driver here. So driver one, we're going to have, I think, two drivers. So I'm going to call this one driver one. It's going to be web driver dot chrome chrome uppercase c and that is my browser my my driver i mean and now we need to to link it to a driver manager previously we could just put an exe executable path to a driver which you would have downloaded from a certain link but now we could just use chrome driver manager to help us download and manage and install it so to do that we need to have service and the service will be now this service here and that service now will help us to to put in the plugin or to install the chrome driver manager so chrome driver manager dot install so let's see it at work so we do driver one dot get and send a get request and the get request we are sending will be website so we're just getting that link so you're going to get what i was meaning here let me run this so it is first downloading the chrome driver manager because we don't have it installed in our virtual environment it will download it and install it so what it's doing currently here is this part here it's installing the driver manager for you so it is launching aside from this other window and it is opening it then it has automatically closed it and that is what i was telling you that we need to send a setting to the driver so that it does not automatically close and that setting that we're going to send is going to be uh, options so we already uh, instantiated options here so options dot add experimental add experimental option then we're going to detach it detach so when it's running we can now we can detach <coughs> from it and it will not automatically close so detach and detach should be true So that it does not automatically close after this is run, after this has run. So we can try it again. I have my anaconda activated here. I'm just going to remove it for a second. And uh, deactivate. This is not part of the. Yep. So Python. It has launched on this side. I don't know why it is launching on a separate window that's fine oh it, it has automatically closed and the reason is because we have not passed the options here so options equals to options also my vs code automatically saves the data uh, uh, saves my files so i don't need to click save every time you can set it so that it saves every time i move out of the a certain window I'll be dragging this window every time it launches. Yeah, so this has launched. Let's see if it is going to automatically close. Plus, it is telling us that uh, Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So this is being controlled by Selenium driver. 
Et voilà, so you can see that it has not automatically closed and that is because we passed in this setting here to the driver inside the options. So when we recap, we can see the driver interacts with the Chrome. It is the one that has helped us to launch the this site, uh, launch this site on Chrome. Then um, the service helps us to install driver manager. If you watched another video, you would have seen, you will have seen them linking to a driver manager that they downloaded from somewhere. Yep. So now next, what we want to do is to accept cookies. So we see when it is launched here, we can't do anything. Maybe scrolling we could, but we could not do a lot of stuff here. So the first thing we need to do is to tell the driver to click this button that I am okay with that. And we're going to define that as a function. So we're going to do here, um, define accept cookies function. And what you should know is that this accept cookie function is tailored for only this site. It cannot work for all the sites because they have different ways of um, building their front end. It's not a universal way of uh, styling and building a front end. So accept cookies. And it should take in the driver. So here I'm just going to say driver object. So I can take any driver. Then uh, just for people who are going to read your code in the future, you need to leave for them a comment. So we say locate and process the accept. So here it is not accept cookies. I am okay with that. The backticks. I am okay with that cookies button. So we want when when we launch the browser and then call for this site, we should wait for 15 seconds. We're going to do time dot sleep and we should sleep for 15 seconds. Um, for this video, I'll be, when I'm editing, I'll be forwarding. Uh, I'll be making it this quick. I'll be skipping the sleep bit, um, but just know that it will be taking 15 seconds. Then we need to find the accept cookies button. So I'm going to look for that element. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to have accept cookies button, the element in the site button being equal to um, driver object, this driver object that we've passed here. Then the element itself is find element. Then I'm going to find it by xpath. So by dot xpath, you're going to see what I mean by xpath. Then I'm going to just say here a variable cookies cookies button expert. So we need to find that that um, that part. I'm going to say that. Then I put here. So here we have drive object to find element by expert and the expert to cook that. So let's find the expert to that button here on this site. So I'm going to let me make this bigger for us. Then I got to 
more tools developer tools okay, so i have clicked this button and i'm going to point into i am okay with that button and this button here has an id so what i'm going to do is to find button with this id so i'm going to go to expert i'm hitting command f on my keyboard because it's mac uh, you, i think you can use Control f if you're not using mac then i um this part here opens where you can now hit double slash then i'm seeing a button so i'm going to type button yep so the button should so here the button has the id let me point at it again this is the id i'm going to just click here and copy it so that's the expert so by these are square brackets the art symbol is here and paste that so this is the expert to this button because it is showing us only one item you may type an expert like this and you may find several items showing here this is one of one you could have one of a hundred and that will mean that there are several elements that have the same path that you've typed here so but for us the accept cookies button has only one um what we have typed here button with this id has only it's only one so i'm going to copy this and this is the the expert there so now that we have found the cookies button element we can now click it so we'll say accept cookies button that dot click and that is our function for accepting cookies i am going to move this function up i'm just going to cut it and then I, I paste it here so we start with the function that is for accepting cookies and then now after we launch the browser here we are going to accept cookies so accept cookies and the driver object is this driver one then let's run again our code and we see uh, what it's going to do so now we are waiting for 15 seconds and we see if it is going to accept the cookies on its own see my mouse is here let's wait and see yep so we have seen the the section for cookies has disappeared that means that it has accepted the cookies and now we are ready to interact with this um, with this site next i want after it has accepted cookies it should um scroll automatically down maybe three times so we're going to send commands from keyboard and auto, uh, an animation so we animate sending commands to to the driver so that it can scroll down um i'm going to define a function and i'm going to call it um, animate scroll mm, take this one down a little here yeah. so define animate scroll it also takes a drive object and for our friends who will be interested in our code we leave for them a note here so scrolls the web page down 
so let me just use for scrolling down so that is enough and then i want to scroll down three times so let, let's scroll down once so i'm going to have driver object then i'm going to find the body because we want to scroll from the body not everything so we're going to say drive object dot find element then by this time around we're not finding by expert but by tag name and the tag name should be body so after finding the body this one becomes the element for the body then we are going to send key so send keys not kins keys and the key we are going to send down send is page down so i'm going to say keys dot page down so let let me call this function after we have accepted cookies because it will not be useful before so after accepting cookies we scroll once down we hit we hit the page down key once so let me run this yeah we have seen that it has scrolled down once uh let's make this kind of fun i'm going to make it sleep for a second then i make it scroll like four times so i'm going to put here a loop so for dash in range Uh, should do this but before you do that you should sleep so time dot sleep sleep for a second so let's run this again before running it i just want to close this window close this quit that and quit that then let's run this again yep so our function works um it has crawled four times next we are going to um, try to script this site so what we're going to do, let me open this. Okay, so what we're going to do, sorry, uh, let's go back. We are going to, instead of scraping this, we're going to get links to where their statistics are. Because if you click, for example, on this card here, also the link to to this site will be on in the description so that you can also interact with it the way i'm interacting so remember when when you click on for example one of these cards here let's say france australia the link changes and it takes you to france australia page that has also statistics and it also has this score here which we can pick plus these other statistics which we we want to pick we want to pick all the statistics so the first thing that uh, we are going to do is to get for each of these cards here get that hyperlink so um let me show you the hyperlink that we want to get so when you go to developer tools oh this takes long because it is from the automated bit so let me quit that let me pick 
a window here and then uh, the link is here then uh, I'm going to go to developer tools then I am going to point onto the card for this so we can see this card here um, when we clicked on this card it was taking us to a separate page so we have to look for that hyperlink so i'm going to open this it is showing us teams when you go up when i go further up yeah so here's the the anchor tag and the hyperlink is this so what we want to do is to for each of these cards for example if i click on another card here it has its hyperlink up here so we're going to fetch all those hyperlinks for all the matches. I don't remember how many matches they're there. But um, after fetching them, we're going to count them and see if it is correct. Um, what my theory is. So the first thing is to, since we're collecting several things, we're going to um, instantiate a list. Uh, so we first accept cookies. I don't want to scroll before because that is now a stage of time. We can scroll maybe after we have gotten everything. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to get all the div elements which match a particular uh, expert. So uh, I'm just going to call them anchor divs because they are these, these, uh, I mean, anchor elements because these elements are just anchor tags so anchor anchor elements and the anchor elements give this a space will be uh, driver one dot find elements So the difference between this find element, this 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 one and and this this is find element. It is just finding one element, and then this this is find elements. So this is plural. It's going to get more than one element if they exist, and it will put them in an array or a list. So we're finding these elements by Expert, and we are going to say that the expert here is going to be uh, anchor expert. So anchor expert, and let's define our anchor expert here. So our anchor expert, we are going to look for it here. I'm going to hit that, then command F. And then I'm going to look for it, the div containing that expert. So you see this div here. So it is having this class. So let me put here, double slash, then div and that div can be located i want a div that has a class uh, let's go back here search for that yeah so this is the anchor this is the, the div element i want to copy this class here so they're like 64 i remember there were 64 matches but i don't want that div element i want the 
the anchor tag inside it so i'm going to put slash a and now i have access to this anchor tag and here we are seeing it is one of 64 i remember there are 64 matches so i think we are right to have 64 anchor tags and it relates to all the 64 cards that are here up to the final so this is the anchor expert so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put it here so now that we have the anchor expert we're going to be to iterate through um, all the anchor elements and we're going to extract the 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 hyperlinks so uh, first of all we're going to have all hyperlinks should be equal to an empty list we're just instantiating all hyperlinks then we're going to have for anchor anchor element in anchor element so for each element in there we're going to say our hyperlink is going to be anchor element dot get attribute so we want to get an attribute from it so dot get attribute and the attribute we are getting is h hyper reference href so this is going to be a link for one of them and we're going to append that to all hyperlinks so all hyperlinks dot append append it's opening append hyperlink then after getting all of them what we're going to do is to just print them to be sure that we've gotten them so we're going to print all hyperlinks uh, i also need to know the account so i'm going to print the length of all hyperlinks then we're going to scroll and then after scrolling i want to quit that window so that uh, i don't need to I, so that i don't quit it every time using my mouse on my computer so it should automatically quit so driver.quit so let's run this and we see what will happen it's done and i think i was right so we have all these uh, hyperlinks to the matches which are printed here and we should expect 64 of them so scroll here so this 64 is because of this print statement and then this is the list that we have just printed here you could try to visit one of the one of the links so let me visit this this should take us to a particular football match <coughs> yep so that link works so now when we have the all the links we can look through them and access these statistics because this is what we want and then we can begin scraping from there so the first thing we're going to do 
is to loop through each hyperlink so after it has quit we'll come here i'm going to leave a comment let's say loop through each hyperlink and script all statistics so the loop is going to look like this for um for hyperlink in all hyperlinks We are going to define a second driver the same way we define the first driver. Remember here we already quit the first driver. So we can say driver2. I'm calling it driver2 uh, for the purposes of so that you can differentiate between which driver I'm using. So driver2 will be defined the same way we define the first driver. then we say driver to dot get and now we are not getting website but we are getting hyperlink so h link and there we are sure that we can launch the the the, the website through that link then the next thing we are going to do is to accept cookies so Accept cookies and the driver object is driver2. Then you see when I was interacting with this, I first clicked on stats. Um let me let me copy this again from terminal here copy then when I paste it here did copy so let's copy this link copy paste so after reaching here and accepting cookies the first thing that I did was to click on statistics or stats so that we need to simulate that so that when the driver comes here it first clicks on stats and to do that we need to get the stats these buttons here xpath so i'm going to go to developer tools then i come here to point on to stats and the this is the expert to stats so it is a div of this class i'm just going to copy this class the whole of class definition so like all classes for that div then uh, where it's here i'm going to con command f and then double slash then i'm looking for a div whose class at and paste the class and only have one of one so this is the best uh, expert for it then i'm going to define the expert for stats so uh, i'm going to call it stats because it is a tab stats tab expert being equal to that and then we are going to get the element itself so stats tab and uh, that element is going to be found by driver2 so driver2 dot 
find element so we're using only element the singular one then since we're using xpath we're going to say by xpath and that is the xpath to that so since we have found it what we want it to do is to click it so start stop dot click So when it comes to this site, the first thing it will do is to, so it comes like this, reaches here, and then it clicks on this button so that it activates um, that information under it. Then um, after that, I want it to animate scroll then quit for now so that i can see that it clicks it so i'm going to be to do animate scroll we already wrote this function driver two then driver two dot quit dot quit i'm not going to run it for all the hyperlinks i think i should run it for the first three so that so it will run, launch like four times the first time it will launch it will be getting the website this one then it gets all the hyperlinks and then it puts them here in all hyperlinks then after doing that we look through each hyperlink we launch the browser and then after launching the browser we click on start stuff then we scroll so let me run this i don't want it to to print a lot of things on my terminal so i'm going to remove this print statements then let's run it and let's wait and see what it's going to do So there has been a problem. It cannot locate accept button handler. Um, that is <coughs> line 48. So accept cookies and accept cookies let's try to sleep for 20 20 seconds let's make that half a minute sleep i think that is enough time then let's run this I'm going I'm going to stop this because it's it's scrolling before um before it clicks so I'm going to first stop this um quit this then quit this oh uh, yep I think I have found where the problem is uh let's go back to developer tools then let's point at this i think instead of using that expert we could use the but the expert for the container so the container for all the the tab tabs the tab titles 
so if we use that because it seems it's failing to get that because um when a tab is acti activated the uh the classes changes there are some classes that are activated and then there are some that are deactivated so what we're going to do is to get it the 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 container div for these tabs so i'm going to have that div um with the class so at that that's the class i just copied the class so inside it there are several other divs so i'm going to put slash slash then i want slash div they are going to be um four of them so you're seeing one of seven not four there are seven this is one two three four five six seven and then i want to subset it and get only the the fourth one which is stats so let's change our path to that it's going to be clear when i paste it here so what happened is i looked for a div which has this class here and this div here is a div that contains all the other tabs the the titles for the tabs then after that i moved a step to other divs and it brought for us seven divs and i chose fourth so with python the numbering begins from zero but with the uh, selenium the numbering begins from one so here we count this as one two three four that's why I subset it here as four. So let's try again and we see if it is going to click, then scroll. Because when it scrolls, we expect it to show us the statistics. There has been an error. Oh, it seems I'm trying to click fast. But I think time for sleep is 30, 30 seconds is enough let me try to run this again or i was trying to click something else let me try to see uh one trust accept button handler yeah could not find that so let's try again let me close this is this the one running let me just close everything with that with that also quit this one then let's run quit this control c let's run it again and let's see what's going to happen it seems that if your internet is slow you'll need to give it a lot of time for the page to load fully could be a whole minute um, my internet has been slow today so i think that's why i've given it 30 seconds if you have a fast internet then you could use even just five seconds yeah it has now clicked so we expect it to fetch all the hyperlinks then scroll down it has done that then it will quit then now it will start with a fast hyperlink which is a game for ecuador i think then it will wait for the cookies part to load then it will accept the cookies after accepting cookies yeah you should click on the start then scroll down so you've seen if you rewind a bit if you go back a bit you'll see that it moves from to start then it will scroll down which is the behavior that we were expecting so let's see the other one the next game it should first accept cookies then second um, click on starts button then third scroll so 
So I think we are now confident that this is working the way we want. So the next thing, let me quit this. And control C here. Control C. So the next thing is to, let me go here. The next thing is to, to start scraping this. So we're going to scrape position, total, considered, inside penalty, outside penalty, all this stuff. Um, then put that in a CSV somewhere, plus the score. So we're going to write a function that we are going to be using to scrape this data or extract this data. So I'm going to call it extract data. I'm going to write it on top here. So I'm going to define a function called extract um, extract data. Extract data. And it still it also takes a drive object. And it returns, I think, um, list or a tuple of list, I think. So um, the first thing to do is to get general information. For example, the kind of match. The kind of match, I mean, uh, is it a group match? Is it a... Uh, uh, a semi-final or a quarter-final or it is it a final then we are going to get the date and time when that took place this one here then we're going to get the first team so the first team here is Senegal I'm reading from left to right so my first one will be Senegal then the second one will be Netherlands then the the scores we're going to get these scores here then we are going to split this data just doing some cleaning and so forth so let's start so the first thing we're going to do is to get the match kind so the kind of match so match kind will be equal to that driver object driver object dot find element And we are going to find element by XPath. And uh, the XPath that we are getting here is... So let's let's try to, to figure this out. I think by now you, you know what the XPath for these elements are. But let's get this. Then the rest I'll be copying from the notes that I have on the side so developer tools then I'll click here and they come to the word Senegal now uh, what we're looking at for is what we're looking for is a uh, match kind so come here to group A and I'll be looking for this paragraph here so, so when I look for this paragraph, I hope I can get that. So I'm going to hit. First of all, I'll copy this because it will get lost when I hit, when I start writing the expert. Then Control F or Command F. Then double slash. I'm looking for a paragraph with the class. So at that's the class. So we here. um this and you can see this is showing group a and it has only one item so i'm going to copy this then i'm going to paste here and that is the match kind so we can print match kind so you can see it on the terminal 
then we're going to use this function within the loop. So the loop down here, after we click the st that, then we're going to extract data and the driver object is going to be driver two. So let's run this. Yeah, let's run this and see the output we are expecting like three outputs on the terminal and the output will be the names of the group uh, of the matches i mean the kind of matches oh and one thing that i have forgotten to put here where are we uh extract data where is it extract extract data so this will return an element what I want is to return text, so do dot text. So let me first quit this. Then let me run it again. And let's wait for the output. Yep, the output is coming. So the output launched, decided to launch in a separate window, but it's fine. Seems it's going to be launching there now. I think it's, I should bring something like this on this window. Might have confused it. Let me close it. I'm going to control C here. Then close this. I close this. I quit this. Then let's run it again. Hopefully it will be launching on the primary yep so if we try to look at this we have seen that it has picked group a and that is how you use xpath for uh, for allocating elements I'm not going to now I'm going to where is element scroll here so now I'm going to write the same kind of code like like this one of much kind to locate several elements um, finding x path for each of the elements is going to be taking long so I'll be copying the x path from the notes that I have on the side but it is the same way just go to developer tools and get them so the next thing we're going to do is to get the date and time at the date time so i'll put date time and the date time is still the same driver dot find element then the text and the x path for date time is this i'm copying it from the side so that we can save time but um, you'll find the link to the code in the description in case you want to look at the expert and or you can try to find the expert yourself make sure you find the expert to this element here so the next thing we're going to do um, after getting the time we're going to replace there is a weird text that is there this dot that you're seeing here we're going to replace it with a minus it is a hanging or a floating dot so we're going to do dot replace and we're going to replace it with this weird big dot we'll replace it with a minus sign And that is how our date is going to look like. Then we are going to, so I'm going to code the rest of the, of the item, then uh, explain uh, the items that I have coded and how I'm fetching them. So here we have all the elements that we are trying to pick so we can look at them 
one by one so we are getting the first team the first team here is Qatar and that is by the same thing driver uh, dot find element by expert and this is the expert to the first team if it is a long thing it is just a class all the classes at once that I've picked so it is also a paragraph so I'll just pick the paragraph element the same as the second team the scores these are the scores here and I'm also getting it by expert and this is the expert but there's something i'm doing with the score somewhere down so the first team yeah first team score here i split it by the minus and i pick the first value so it's just normal string operation so the scores that i get here um then text and then we split by minus and then pick picks the first value and then remove the trailing on the beginning spaces the same as the team score so here these are just general information much kind of time first team second team scores first team score second team score then position so when we scroll down after clicking start when we scroll down we have your position position stood on its own so we have these other elements they are they are kind of similar in terms of the way the ui is built but um, position is different so here you'll see that i first um, extracted team position so the first team position uh, still it is fine element by expert and then the expert is this and then remember the way we did um, getting elements in a div that has several elements then we subset and pick the first one here and pick the second one in the same way uh, we have done to pay, to do team position and second team position. Then other matrices, they had the same X path. So we just got find elements and then it put them in the list. And then this is just a primary key for the general information. Just getting the first team name. Where, where are we? Uh, getting the, the primary key somewhere here so this is much kind the kind of match group a match or semi-final or something then first team the second team and then this just cleaning replace it and then replace then lower then the match kind first team then this is the general information primary key and stuff so here we have the primary key which we define the match kind we know the date the first team the second team the team score first team score second team score first team position second team position so this is just uh, the general information and uh, yep so that's the general information then for statistical information so we have here match statistics so what we did is getting these div elements here for the rest of the elements remember we come position is different but when we go to total considered inside the penalty outside the penalty all these matrices have the same kind of styling so we could find all of them at once using this expert here um the link to the code is in the description this expert is long and it could take a lot of time if i was to describe everything for you but it's the same way get all the elements put them in an array we can now start getting element by element and that's why we are moving here using this loop here so metric div and then for each metric div we find now that metric itself and make it is a text so the metric itself will be here is total here is on target here is off target those are that is the metric itself then the value for the first team so here if we look the value for the first team here is five and then for total goal attempts the value for the first team here is five and the value for the second team is six so here we have value for the first team this one and then value for the second team this is the expert 
um, they kind of look alike but if you look at here it is MR and then here is ML yeah so then we make the primary key for the statistics and then we put it in a list and then we return that information so this is where we are now we have built a function for extracting where is it extracting data so now we can now uh, write code that will use it and extract data for for us so there we are going to go down to the loop here where we said extract data so i'm going to define two things on top here i'm going to define all matches general info so like general information uh, we're going to define a list that will be holding this general information and then we're also going to define list that will be holding these match statistics okay so we have here that loop so you say all matches general info is an empty list then all matches all matches statistics is also going to be an empty list then the in the loop we are going to 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 append information that comes from extract data to it so the first thing we're going to do is general info and match statistics they're all coming from extract data remember extract data returns general info and match statistics match statistics is a list of lists because we define the match statistics here and then we are pending other lists from it and each list has a primary key so the match primary key and then the the primary key for the general information because the general information is a match for example first team versus second team and each match has several of match statistics that's why we have its primary key for the statistics but though we also have a, a foreign key that uh, relates to the match itself so that we can um, if we are to analyze we can join this this table here this will be its own table and general information will also be of its own table and we can easily join them and then do analysis so yeah so these two lists this is a list of lists and there's just a list that is returned and that is what we're going to be using here so after doing that we are going to say all matches general information we just append that list so we say all matches general information dot append and we are appending general info but for the statistics so all matches statistics we are not appending we're just adding that information because it is a list of lists so it will be the previous plus the match statistics and then we can animate scroll then we quit then after quitting what else can we do so after moving out of that loop uh, we are going to um, created data data frames for this data so the the data frame will be having columns for example for matches which we're calling general info these are going to be the columns and this columns is just id which is the primary key for the general information which we put here up here up here this peak here then the match kind is here the time first team second team and so forth then for the statistics table we're going to have their columns defined as this i'm just copying them because it will take long 
Yeah, so this is the ID, the match ID. So match ID is the match, the ID that relates to the matches here. This is the ID for the statistics and then the metric itself for, and then the first team value and then the second team values. So let's define the matches here. Matches. Data frame is going to be, we already imported pandas, so pd dot um dot data frame and the data frame will be all matches statistics and the columns the column titles will be no this is uh this is not all match statistics it is this all matches general info And then the columns will be these columns here. The same for uh, stats DF. So we'll just copy this. Then these will be the columns and the statistics is the all matches stats. Then after that, we are going to save the data in a data frame. So we're going to do matches data frame. I mean, we're going to save it in a CSV. Uh, so this dot to CSV. And then the path to that CSV is going to be data slash matches dot CSV. We don't want the data to have um, to have indexes. So we're going to have index equals to false the same thing for statistics so this is stats.csv and this is going to help us to to scrape all the data so what we're going to do now is to run this and uh, see what's going to happen um before we run let me create a folder here called data so that all the data will be there so let's run this it's going to take approximately 40 minutes because i ran it before and you can find the code um through the link in the description thank you for watching i'm going to after running this i'm going to show you the data So after a very long time, this has completed running and we have two CSV created here. If we open, we can see this is all the matches and this is all the statistics. Yep, so this video is complete. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you've learned something new. Until next time, take care and have peace.